Hi everyone, I'd like to show the Spectrum integration we've uh, implemented at new customer. Um, the use case itself is, is quite straightforward as I'll explain, but uh, we've had to use or had to combine a number of features, some of which are lesser known in order to get the results. So I think it's interesting to have a look at those. So maybe first uh, an overview of the situation. So we're dealing with a um, satellite downlink, which means we have a number of receive antennas and each antenna is feeding into an L-band matrix, as you can see. So if we have a look, for example, at an antenna labeled Andrew, you can see that we have horizontal and vertical polarizations, the high band and the low band, going into um, separate inputs of the L-band matrix, and that will be the case for most of the antennas. Then um, at the output of the matrix, we have a bunch of IRDs uh, connected, which are going to um, demodulate the signal. So the request from the customer was um, that whenever an IRD element is opened, that immediately and automatically they would be able to see the carrier trace uh, of the signal that is currently fed into that IRD. So that means that we have to perform two things on the uh, spectrum analyzer. First of all, we have to make sure that the same input that's currently connected to the IRD is also going to go into the spectrum analyzer and we can do that through um, the use of a measurement point a spectrum measurement point and secondly we also need to ensure that um, the l band frequency um, that's currently configured on the rd is also used as the center frequency of the spectrum analyzer and when both of these are uh, configured then we should be able to see uh, the trace so maybe um, let's have a look at an example I'm going to open up one of the IRD elements and we've created a custom Visio file here. Um, you can see that this one is locked on a satellite signal. Um, so if we have a look, you can see the RF frequency is uh, at around 11 gigahertz and the LNB frequency is at 9.75. Uh, um, in order to calculate the L band frequency, we have to subtract the LNB frequency from the RF frequency because the signal going into the spectrum analyzer is an L band signal. So that would be about 1.228, if I'm not mistaken. So that is the frequency that we expect to see as center frequency on the spectrum analyzer. If we have a look at the um, what we expect in terms of measurement points, we can look at the matrix, the L band matrix, and we see here that IRD1 is connected to UTILSAT 10A um, horizontal low. And so that is also the measurement point that we expect to load because for each input we've created a spectrum measurement point. So let's have a look on the spectrum tab page. We can see that the measurement point um, UTILSAT 10A X low has been detected as well as a frequency of 1228 and which was the expected center frequency you can see that that same frequency is indeed applied as center frequency on the component and that also in the list of measurement points we have um, the matching one being selected and you can see the carrier nicely lines up in the middle of the component so indeed with one click and they're able to see the carrier if i would open another one Let's open 16, for example. Here we see now an Astra um, measurement point is detected, a different center frequency. And after a few seconds, we now see those two being loaded into the component. And again, the carrier is nicely um, aligned. So how does this work? First of all, we need to um, calculate um, the center frequency and determine the measurement point. Um, it's not possible to do so directly. The, the IRD does not hold any parameters which um, list the measurement point or the frequency. We have to perform some actions in an automation script in order to get these. There is um, a feature um, which will automatically launch an automation script whenever you open um, a visual drawing. So what we do is we launch that script, we pass along the element, the IRD. The script is going to look up and calculate measurement point and frequency. And then it is going to feed that back 
as session variables into the visual drawing. And we can use those session variables then to feed into the spectrum component. Yeah. So maybe let's have a look at the visual drawing. So first of all, we have here an execute shape, which is going to um, run the script. Um, in this case, it's for an Ericsson IRD. And we use the option execute sets on init, which will make sure that whenever that specific tab page is opened, that the script is going to um, automatically run. And on the spectrum component itself, you see that we have the option uh, to specify an inline preset. So it means that we don't have to create presets up front. We don't want to do that because, um, yeah, an IRD can have any kind of um, frequency. And so it doesn't make much sense to create all of these presets in advance. Instead, we just pass along um, the frequency that um, the script has calculated and has pushed back into this session variable, the center frequency. The span, the level, the scale, and so on, these are hard coded. So it's really only um, the frequency and the measurement point, which are uh, variables, right? If we take a look then at the script that gets executed. We have some code that performs the lookup. And at the end, we are using engine.add or update script output with the name of the session variable as key and whatever value that you've calculated. So this is the mechanism that will push back values into um, the session variable. So combining these two is actually quite a powerful option because you run the script when, uh, whenever you open a visual drawing, you're able to do any kind of custom logic you want and set values back into session variables. So it means you can pretty much display any information you want um, on a visual drawing. Um, maybe final note is that here the user has chosen to run the spectrum analyzer in a shared mode, meaning that everybody sees the same trace. There is no time multiplexing going on, um, which also means that we need to have some kind of indication uh, that whenever a new user um, or a new IRD takes over the trace, that the previous one gets a message here which says, okay, um, currently the spectrum analyzer isn't used by IRD 16. If IRD 16 takes over again, and you could see here an indication that the script is running, and then you'll see that the same message, but now referring IRD 16 as being uh, placed on IRD 1. 